friends, how are you today? So good to see you as always. Oh my gosh, I'm going to introduce you to somebody you never knew you needed. <laughs> oh, okay. Grab a cup of coffee. Let's get real here. It is so very interesting. I would honored and privileged to introduce you to Amy Wood with Executor Support. She is the co-founder. Amy, thank you so much for being here. Yes. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited. Yes. This is so much fun. I promise. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> So tell tell us what an executor supporter does. Sure. Yeah. So our team um, comes alongside executors who are in the middle of closing an estate. Um, we really, really shine with folks who are maybe overwhelmed or just don't have time or maybe just don't want to. Maybe they've been an executor before. They know the hassle and they do not want to go through all that again. And um, we work as part project manager and part um, executive assistant, just taking off as much as we can off your plate um, to help the person, the executor, get back to their busy lives, um, back to their families. Um, yeah, and we just try to close the estate as quickly as we can and give people back their lives. Speaking from firsthand experience, you have no idea what you're getting into. You have no idea what's around the corner. You have no idea what's up next, but Amy does. And Amy can help facilitate that process so you are not crying every day. <laughs> right, right. And try and figure it out because there's too much and the emotions run high. Amy's very neutral, very loving and kind, but neutral. <laughs> right. So the emotions don't get all wrapped up into it, right? Right, yeah. Um, so one of the things that we um, are, some of the feedback we've gotten from clients is we really help reduce the drama because um, again, I'm not emotionally hooked into the family system um, in the best way. Um, I, I get that things are sad and things are hard, but it's not my family. And so um, I have no problem emailing beneficiaries, um, being the go-between um, when things get tough or when conversations might be a little tricky, when somebody, um, maybe there's not as much in the estate as um, beneficiaries are thinking there is, or maybe it's taking a little longer than everybody thinks it should take and why is it not moving? I'm happy to be that that email, <laughs> that person sending the email or picking up the phone um, just to uh, take some of the heat off of the relationships. It's already kind of a little bit strained and people are grieving and it's sad. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to step into that role. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you don't know what you don't know. And it is rough. It's, yeah. it's, it's tough. And um, that's what Amy does. She takes that toughness out of it. So you can have time to be with your family and just, mm -hmm. and grieve and remember. And so, um, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it because I should have called you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you then, damn it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah, and that's that's another thing. Um, so this is kind of a new industry. Um, there's not a lot of folks out here doing that. Of course, there are estate planning and probate lawyers, of course, there are CPAs and bookkeepers. There's not a lot of folks out there who are really stepping in as executive assistants in this very niche world. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we're doing a lot of education too, uh, because people don't know what they don't know and they don't know that this is this. And so we're working to, um, what we want to do is try to get in front of, in front of as many people as we can and tell them about this, not only who we are, but this industry and what's possible. I, I know a lot of people and I never knew this existed. So this is so right. amazing and will be so helpful. What's yes. the best time? When does somebody need to call you? Mm -hmm. So they can call me right away, right? So if something happens, they can call me, you know, they've found somebody's passed away. Um, I have found that I am, I can help, but I'm not super helpful in the, in that first two weeks um, where you're really just working on your, your memorial service. There's a lot of family happening. Um, I can take care of some things like mom lives here in Houston, executors in Florida, I can come and change the locks on the house. I can do some of those things. I can make sure the house looks lived in. Um, if, if, if we need some uh, help with landscaping, we can just do all the things that make sure that it looks like the house is occupied, keep it safe. Um, but really, we really get to work and get busy once you get that letters testamentary or a letter of administration um, from the court. 
Um, so the first thing you're going to do is work with an attorney and um, go to court, get a probate hearing and get approved as executor or as personal representative. Call me during that time. Let's get you set up. Let's get a kickoff call on the calendar. Talk about the process. Do you love your attorney? If not, do we need to find a new one? Um, and then we'll be in, ready to go and in place. And once you get those letters of administration or those letters testamentary, we're going to hit the ground running. Very good. So what if you already, so once someone passes away, do you have to wait for that letter? Do people already have that letter? Um, when someone passes away, no, that's a letter that you get from the court. Um, now, if somebody passes away and they've got a trust and they've done all the things to avoid probate, there's a possibility they don't need to go through probate. Um, you know, that's best case scenario, right? Most people have something that's not in a trust. Like here in Texas, we don't put cars in trusts. Okay. Um, uh, insurance companies don't like to insure trusts. They like to insure a person. So they, we don't usually put cars in trusts. Um, and Texas doesn't really have a mechanism for transferring cars on death. So there's usually like, there can be little things that still have to go through probate. You still need a lawyer. I mean, a, I'm sorry, a letter. Um, and most financial institutions are going to require that, uh, that letter. Um, you know, there are some exceptions. So if you have a checking account, you can have a transfer on death um, or a cosigner. Um, so those just really require death certificates. But most people, they, most people are going to need to go through probate. And see who knew this. This is so <laughs> educational. You just don't know who knew that the car didn't transfer or didn't go into trust. <laughs> yeah, not usually. Yeah, mainly because of insurance, but otherwise, yeah, no. What's your so? What's your favorite part about this? Why do you do what you love to do? Um, so I have a longtime client who's a trustee, and um, I do some very specific work for him. He's got a couple of different trusts that he's a trustee for, and so I've worked with him for a long time. And he famously likes to say, "When Amy walks in the room, I take a deep breath because I know it's going to be okay." And that's, I mean, I just got chills. Me too. <laughs> um, I have a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a hero complex. Maybe I need to see a psychiatrist about this. <laughs> but I, I like to be the person who saves the day. I like to bring a sigh of relief. Like I'm really overwhelmed. Oh, Amy's on top of it. I know it's okay because Amy's on top of it. So that's, that's what I really love. I love taking things off people's plates. I love puzzling them out. I mean, I learn something new on every single client case I take. I don't walk around knowing everything about everything. Um, I just took on a client who's um, sadly her, she's an executor for her mother's estate and her mother, her house burned to the ground. I mean, it's tragic and terrible. Um, I don't, I'm figuring it out too, right? So I'm really I'm really good with research and, and calling and figuring that out and talking with lawyers and talking with the insurance company. Um, this is something new for me. So that's the selfishly, the kind of the, one of the best parts for me is every day looks different for me. Every case has different things. They have their own um, complexities and um, just different unique things going on. And so I get to learn something new every day. Every family is different. <laughs> Every family is different. Every family is different. And yet all the same, right? Um, you know, I get people calling me and they're like, well, I need to tell you about my brother, um, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're, they're shy about it, but it's like, I hear this stuff all the time. I mean, families are families, you know, they're, they're tough sometimes. It's yeah. So you're a psychologist too, the counselor. And the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. it. You should put that tagline on your card. That'd be great. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. My family first though. <laughs> I've got to get us figured out. So what is the best way to reach you? Do you feel comfortable sharing your phone number, email, or a combination Absolutely. of both? Whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah. Like right now. So best way to call me is um, my phone number. It's on my website and on my card. It's 281-928-1013. My email address is awood at executorsupport.com. And our website is www.executorsupport.com. There's also a way on our website um, 
to uh, go ahead and uh, schedule a 30 minute free consultation right there on the spot. So find, you can click on a link, look at my calendar, what I have available, find what works for you and schedule it. And Amy's super responsive. And I'm telling you, you don't know you need this until you do. And so yeah, yeah. Don't try to say, oh, well, you know what? I'll try to figure it out. I'll jump on Google and try to figure it out. Please don't do that. Your, your heirs have worked really hard to protect what was theirs or build it up. And Amy will help protect that on the other side and help facilitate this. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, you need, don't do this by yourself. Do not. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that most people, um, so at this point in my business, so I've been doing this a couple of years. And again, like you mentioned earlier, not a lot of people know about this um, service. And so um, many of the clients that I was getting at the beginning, they were six or eight months into the process uh -huh. and were ready to pull their hair out. They, they had no idea what a challenge um, some things can be every step of the way. Um, dealing with banks, depending on which bank your parent or your um, the the student had an account at, um, it's just it can be really challenging. Just the checking account, and you haven't even gotten to the house and the stuff inside. That's another thing we can help with stuff. I call those the stuff clients. So maybe they've gotten all the paperwork done, but they have this house full of stuff, and um, you know maybe they've. Um, uh, the beneficiaries have gotten all the things that they wanted or were um, promised out of the house, what they've inherited. And now it's left with all the kind of leftovers. And so we need to prepare the house for sale. And so I can project manage that process. I've got a great list of service providers with estate sale folks, um, housekeepers, people who can, uh, uh, realtors, realtors mm -hmm. who specialize in probate, uh, realtors who specialize in downsizing. Um, so I've got a great list of service providers and can manage that project. Yeah, it is a project and it'll, it, it'll take yeah, a it is. <laughs> yeah, because you walk into a lot of folks walk into the house and, uh, um, one client, um, her cousin passed away. He was a single uh, man in his sixties or seventies. And, um, he had a CB radio collection and she was like, I don't know. It could be worth something. I don't know. It's going to take some legwork, some research. And so, you know, I found somebody who, you know, knew a lot about a lot of stuff and looked into it and was able to say, this is worth it. This isn't, but I found a buyer for the lot, you know, and just taking that off. Cause it, you can get sucked into, <laughs> sucked into a rabbit hole trying to figure those things out. Yes. So call Amy. This is a wonderful service that no one knew was around, which is so breathtaking. I mean, it's just wonderful and will change a lot of families' lives and dynamics. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's what we hope. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Very good. So Amy, thank you so much for being here. It wasn't so bad to record this, was it? No, this was a breeze. <laughs> a great way to start my day. I, love, I, love, I always love talking with you, Jennifer. Oh, you're <laughs> really sweet. Do. Call Amy uh, one more time. What's your phone number? 281-928-1013. Take it from me. You're going to need her. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yay. All, All right. right my friends, be so safe much. and be well. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. This was terrific. And we will see you all very soon. I really am living my best life. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Bye.